Good morning. Happy Halloween. We have some kids around here excited. I just told Mary. Candy for breakfast, candy for lunch, candy for dinner, candy for dessert, candy for snacks. She would actually hate that. She um, doesn't like to eat that much sugar. Whew. Good morning. Good, good, good morning. Today is my final day preaching at this nearby church, so I am about to get ready, starting with water, water, water. A shower. Uh, Two thirds of a half gallon. And some Esther, some of the book of Esther. So that's, uh, I'm considering the Bible now. I'm calling that the living water. John 6 35, John 4 14, John 7 38. I think those are a few water verses that are on our free printable, if you haven't already. If you want, join us as we travel through November. And um, check off those Bible verses. I'm gonna get going. Um, When I get home today, hopefully I can tackle some of all that because the kids are starting to say, I don't have any clean socks. And I'm starting to say, it's fine. Pick some out of your dirty clothes. We're to that point. Um, I'll also clean up this dresser. But first, before I get going on water, water, and more water, I'm going to add my tallies to my little sheet here before they get washed off. Every once in a while, I'm afraid I'm going to lose this information, these hard earn. This was a battle. I fought for these. I earned these tallies plus two more. I think the girls might have messed up the finish on my dresser using some alcohol to get about 45 uh, fake tattoos off their arms. Okay, I am earning, I'm not earning tea tree shampoo and conditioner, I'm earning my thermoses, and I've just earned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more tallies. Water. Franklin has a friend over. Looks like they've got him doing some farm chores. Water. Living water. Okay, still reading the book of Esther. I want to have this finished by tomorrow. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's a very small book. Um, I just now read Esther 6, chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. I put a little heart to let me know where I left off, and sometimes um, I just read a verse or two. I'm not quite ready. Who do I look like? <clears throat> David Bowie. Especially in the movie Labyrinth. Anyone? Time to make a healthy prescribed breakfast and then calmly walk out the door. It is 10, 12. Church starts at 11 and it's quite a ways away. Breathe, slow down, and enjoy. If we're not enjoying all that God has given us and all that he's allowing us to experience, we are missing the point. One ounce of oats, peanut butter, some water, and in the microwave for, uh, let's go with two and a half minutes.
turn that I was wanting to take and now I'm stuck in traffic. I'm here. The clock in my car says 11 o'clock. I have been allowing God to order my steps all morning. I believe I'm getting here right at the exact moment I'm supposed to. His timing, not mine. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. I'm gonna gather all these books that I'm so overjoyed already to share with this congregation. I'm gonna breathe, I'm gonna slow down, and I'm going to enjoy. Here I go. I'm jumping in here to explain what you're about to see. Service is over, everyone has gone home, and I just took three teenage boys across the street to the gas station and fed them lunch. On July 17, I saw them in the parking lot. Every single time I preach here, I would cross the street, or every time I would preach here, I would cross the street and go over there and get a water, just kind of decompress and sit in the parking lot for a couple minutes. Um, reflect on God's awesomeness. <laughs> and um, on July 17th, I saw these these two boys walk by and they just remind, I have a heart. I have a heart for these kids, especially because you all know I taught special education. I taught um, kids with severe behavior issues. I taught kids who um, have very difficult home lives and um, I have a heart for them. So um, I saw these two boys walk by and I just felt this Holy Spirit magnetic pull towards them, but God didn't give me any direction on any action to take. So I just, I just took note of them. Um, on July 24th, I saw them again, only they had another one with them. Um, they had a tall young man with, um, um, his name is Saul. So I saw them walking by. He's got a skateboard with them. Um, just cute kids walking around town. So last week on the 24th, I saw them again and um, I said, okay, Lord, if you want me to do something or say something, let me know, I'll do it. And he had me park, I, I parked in a certain spot and I thought, okay, if they, I just decided, or I discerned, not decided, big difference, big, huge, big difference, decide versus discern. And um, I sat there and I, I thought, if they walk past my vehicle, I'll say something. I looked around, I had some cash, I had um, $29 and some change. I had enough to give each one of them $10 and a bookmark, a Romans Road bookmark. And um, sure enough, they came out of the gas station, walked directly in front of my car and around the side. And I said, hi guys. And um, they were kind of taken back, you know, like, oh. And I said, it's okay. I said, um, um, I said, can I give you something? And, and I said, I, I promise you, I said, uh, don't be scared. I'm nice. I just preached at that church across the street. And they said, well, yeah. And um, I said, okay, I'd like to give you $10 and a bookmark. And um, and they were like, wow. I said, take this back in there if you want and get some, you know, treats, do whatever you want with it. And so they were, they were receptive and um, so sweet. We chatted for a little bit. I asked them if they go to church anywhere, and and they told me different. Uh, one of them went to church in, in a nearby town, and one of them hadn't been in years. And I said, I can understand that. We kind of go in and out of seasons, and we just chatted. And then unexpectedly, God gave me the idea to invite them this week. Um, their names are Dalton, Saul, and Charles. And I said, guys, I'm going to be preaching here next week on Halloween. Would you consider? coming and I said if you'll come I'll buy you lunch afterwards and Saul very seriously said I will consider that I said well very good and then I asked him if I could be praying for anything for them and Saul um Saul is tall Saul the tall one um you'll see in just a moment he's got a black jacket on and um and he said um I said can I pray for you and he said throughout the week I'll be praying for you he said well I would just like for you to pray for other people because he said that he had been saved and um Saul, S-O-L, um, meaning son. Um, I assumed it was S-A-U-L and jokingly told my mom, uh-oh, we need to change that to Paul. I'm so humbled by how often uh, he knows better than I do. S-O-L, son. 
And so Saul said, if you'll just pray for other people, that'd be great. I said, okay, great. Dalton was much more reserved. He didn't have any anything for me to pray about. But Charles, the one you'll see him here in a minute, um, talking about his cat, said, he asked me if I would pray for him and his friends. There's eight of them. And he just asked that I would be in prayer for them, that they could get their ha Halloween um, their Halloween plans figured out. Uh, I said, absolutely. Charles, I'll be praying for you that you get it all figured out, that it'll be fun. You'll have a, a safe fun evening with your friends and um, answered prayer they did this all happened last night when I walked in just now um, you all know I probably walked in there at 1102 um, with all my bags and the box of the books and had a lot going on one of the first things I saw was these three young men sitting in the first pew there they were and I told them last week Charles had on a white t-shirt and some basketball shorts I said do you know what church clothes look like and uh, I said, Charles, they look exactly like what you have on. You all wear whatever you want. You come dressed however you want. You just walk through that door. They would love, this is a very warm congregation. They would love to, they would love to have you. And um, Dalton was there with a collared shirt on. Uh, Charles was there with a white t-shirt and some sweatpants and tennis shoes. And um, my day has been made. So I introduced them to the congregation. I told the congregation that, um, I said, we are to be fishers of men and guess what? You can catch teenage boys with $10 bills. So um, it was really fun to highlight them and, and introduce them to the congregation. Afterwards, so many people just swarmed them and talked to them. And just now Saul was telling me that um, he's got a new job opportunity that a, a local farmer here needs some help with his tobacco. And um, it, anyways, it's just wonderful to um, have them be warmly, um, welcomed and received here at this church and this is a group of people that I trust they'll take it from here and they will absolutely nurture these kids so um, I saw them I, I introduced them to the congregation by the grace of God I remember their names and um, afterwards I gave them each one of my books I signed their books I left them with my name and my phone number and told them I live on a farm nearby and that um, I would love for them to text me and just keep up with me and let me know how how their life is going and um, just to keep in touch um, so what you're about to see is the gas station across the street from this church let's see here there's the church there's the gas station and um, afterwards, two people handed me $20 bills and said they'd like to pay for their lunch. I'm telling you, awesome, awesome group of people here. So um, I wanted to introduce you to Saul, Dalton, and Charles and explain to you how I um, um, the details of how this lunch came to be. Introducing Saul, Dalton, and Charles. Okay, Charles told me he has big plans for this book I just gave him. Charles, what are you gonna do with this book? I'm gonna read it to my cat named Chunky. He's gonna read it to his cat named Chunky. I love that. I also might decide to read it to Coco, who's uh, the grandmother of all these kittens. Okay, good. I love that. They, um, I, I think they're gonna enjoy that. Do you think they'll enjoy it? Eh, as long as as long as none of the kittens pop up, I think Coco will like it. Okay. If the kittens pop up, she's probably gonna hiss at them. She yeah. don't like any other cat. She don't yeah, even like exactly. her own, she don't even like her own child. Kind of stressed out, huh? Well, I love that idea, and I love that you you have plans to read it at all. All right, Charles. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Okay, with their permission, they have said that I have their permission to videotape them. Dalton, thank you. Saul, thank you. S O L. Oh, I like that. Okay, what would you all like to say? Anything? I have something to say. Words of encouragement for whatever goals you reach. Have Make sure you're, you always keep your goal in your mind. And you always maintain interpersonal discipline. Keep going. You'll reach whatever you strive for at the end of the day. You just got to keep it in your brain. Don't forget it. Oh, Saul, thank you. Dalton, it's a hard act to follow. I don't know. <laughs> okay, how about we just talk about... Um, are you looking forward to the pizza we just ordered? Yeah. Are you going trick or treating tonight? We trick or treating. Trick or treating. Oh, you yeah. did. Okay, where I live, it's going to be tonight. So they changed it here to to yesterday. So okay, me, me, Saul, Peyton, and everyone went out and we did that. Yeah. We had our friend. Um, his name is Talon. He's the one that like lives very far away because he's with his dad right now. Yeah. And he'll be 
coming here not too long from now. Okay. He uh, he goes every year is the same thing because he doesn't want to make a costume for himself. So he we always do this funny thing where he's called the pirate patch and he holds a friend, my friend's big bag that he holds all the candy with. And the whole thing with it, for the first half, um, he had his hands behind it and there was like a little skeleton hand my friend yeah. my friend Peyton had and he had it on the side and the whole thing was he was pretending like as if he lost his arms oh. walking around <laughs> okay. and um, like talking to people and stuff like that and it was very funny because he was saying like that, that other hand was his only limb left oh my gosh and he would just like hold like he would bend over so the people could put the candy in yeah and um, another thing with uh, one of my other friends he should be getting out of church not too long from now, and he'll be here. Oh. His name is Peyton. Okay. The one who literally like had all the stuff. He has like a little top hat he had yeah. when, he, when we were doing all this, and he had a little spider in it. We went to my house, which is like far up that way, and it's like at the top of um, the top up there of, of West Main Street. Yeah. And while we were going there. Um, like my dad, my dad popped out, so he showed the little spider to my father. <laughs> hey, and it sounds like y'all are having a lot of fun. I thought it was very funny because it, like, it just sticks out just so perfectly. Yeah, it's like a little skeleton spider too. Oh my gosh, it sounds perfect. Okay, well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Sounds like you have a lot of fun, fun ahead, pizza ahead. I hope he can come and have some pizza. All right, fellas, so nice meeting you all. Thanks again for for showing up today. Absolutely. It's important, all no right? Problem. Keep showing up. You've got gifts to give. You've got much to offer, lots to bring to the table. All right? What note should we end on here? Hmm. For anyone who watches the video, have a good day and have a good week and hope that um, any, everything goes the way you need it to. Amen. Thank you, Charles. All right. Anything else all? I have nothing to add to that effect. That was perfect. That was perfect. Done. I believe my work here is done. Mission accomplished. Wow, what an experience. My first sermon on 4th of July, my final sermon on Halloween. Time to get going home and take some kids trick-or-treating. Not skipping a beat. Keeping my steps towards him, asking him to order my steps, and um, I hope he's leading me right into maybe some lunch. I am here getting gas, and I wanted to um, tell you all um, it was up to me to do the pastoral prayer. The guy that usually does it was not there today. And um, God gave me this idea and I'd already brought these with me. Part of the pastoral prayer today was, I passed those cards out, everybody had one, and then we sang it uh, twice, all the way through twice together, just acapella, acapella. Um, and it was, so lovely and then for the pastoral prayer i said why don't we go through acts acts adoration confession thanksgiving supplication let's adore god confess our sins thank him for everything and then ask him for things supplication so we had much to adore him about we'd already been saying several things confession i thought i was joking last said, does anybody want to confess anything <laughs> oh we had fun we have had fun for a couple months I said, I'll volunteer. I'll confess that every once in a while I think, wow, I've just really done something great. And I should just really pat myself on the back. And um, nope, it's God doing it. I don't want the credit. All glory to him. Um, Galatians 1, 4 through 5, I believe. I think that's right. All glory be to God. All I'm doing is using the resources that he has given me. Um, and I'm allowing him to flow through me as conduit. I'm conduit. Um, and I'm being willing and obedient and staying engaged. It's all him. The love flowing from me is him. Literally, 1 John 4, 8, God is love. Um, Thanksgiving, we had 
all sorts of stuff to be thankful about, especially Dalton, Charles, and Saul sitting there on the front pew. Um, and then supplication. I, I asked that a couple of the church members that were not there today would be safe and enjoy their time traveling with family. So anyways, I wanted to share that with you all. I'm out here pumping this gas singing, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy. And with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. I have sang that over and over since I sang it for the first time on my behavioral bling video. That's it. I thought you all would appreciate that story because we sing that a lot here together. My mom is on her way home. Thanks again for all your help, mom. Help with the bull sale, help with the book, help with my life. Thanks for all your prayers, your love, your support. Thank you for being obedient to the Holy Spirit, for letting him flow through you to me. I feel the love. So my mom's on her way home. She said she's gonna stop at Waffle House. I said, good, okay, good. We know what to get there. I know how to, I know how to order at Waffle House. And she said, um, what do I get? You know, how many eggs, how many grits? I said, okay, order like this. A bowl of grits, two scrambled eggs, and a big bowl of vegetables. And she said, okay, I hope I can take that to go. I said, do not take that meal to go. You sit there and enjoy that delicious meal. Don't you take vegetables, hot vegetables and grits on the road? Woman, woman. Whoa, man, whoa, man, whoa, hold up. You sit there and enjoy that. And she's doing that as I speak. Check this picture out she just sent me. Mom, you nailed it. Just got off the phone with Greg. We have about three hours before it's time to trick or treat. So I asked him if I'm good to stop and eat somewhere, um, balance my checkbook, take a breather, and, um, Check this out. Look where the Lord has led me. A Mexican restaurant, but not just any Mexican restaurant. Look at the title. Saul. Saul Azteca, Saul Azteca. In honor of my new little buddy Saul. Mom is currently at Waffle House. She said, good idea, Em. She texted me, good idea. She said, I don't normally think to eat alone. Um, I do, I love eating alone. So. My mom and I are going to eat alone together. Mom, ah, spider web. Um, mom, let's have lunch, shall we? This is gonna be a yellow square meal, a no sugar, no flour meal. Um, lots of vegetables and protein. So it's chicken fajitas with no tortillas and no rice. Chips and salsa and some cheese dip. It's a treat, for sure. Um, they, one guy here knows my order. And um, he usually just starts bringing me over my club soda. And last week he was telling me about his son that lives in Mexico. And he seemed kind of sad talking about him. So that just tugged at my heart. And I thought this week, I didn't think about this week necessarily. But today I brought these to leave with him. Just, um, he's a nice, nice guy. Just want to hopefully by the grace of God lift his spirits a little bit. I don't know. I just feel led to give him these. My belly is full. Both of my checkbooks are balanced. I could really go for a nap, but instead I'll go trick or treating. <laughs> Guess what I did? Guess what I did for the first time since I can ever remember. I got full. You guys, normally my stopping point is the plate. The sound of the fork scraping the plate. I got full. Put my napkin on my plate and scooted it away. Um, wow. That is leptin at work. That's a big deal. Almost feels like a miracle. I just realized I have a lot of water to drink. The kids are getting their costumes on. I'm gonna go ahead and make my um, healthy prescribed dinner and have this ready for me for when I get back. Um, it's gonna be 14 ounces of vegetables um, and then some of the leftover brisket and pork 
and one tablespoon of butter. You all might have already known this, but I swear I did not know this until it seems like fairly recently, like, like maybe the last few years. On the wrapper of butter on the side, it shows you that butter, one stick of butter is eight tablespoons. So, so for a brand new stick of butter, you can just cut it in half and then half again, and then half again is one tablespoon. I am also gonna add half an ounce of nutritional yeast and two ounces of marinara sauce. Okay, so the kids are um, just about ready. They are going to uh, get dinner while we're out. It's usually kind of a big night, trick-or-treating and then dinner, and then they end up back up at my mother-in-law's house. She likes for them to come up there and trick-or-treat, and. Um, she gets to see them in their costumes. Let me show you my calendar. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. Hard to believe, awesome October is complete. And that's it on October 31st. Um, it's also it on October. So excited to move right on into November, November where we focus on him together and we let him guide our steps and we let him define us, which is exactly what I just now preached in a sermon this morning about identity, what we are, what we are not, who we are, um, and how our identity has, um, it's really, it's a culmination of who we are, what we are, and what we have. And what really matters is um, whose we are and that he has us. So. Thank you all so much, those of you that have um, expressed interest in the book that I've written and have already paid me. I'm going to get those out to you just as soon as possible. Um, I'm also going to set up, I've got a copy of it right here in my hand. I Follow Jesus, Seven Sermons by Emily Myers. So these are the seven sermons that I have written here recently, um, starting on 4th of July and then finishing at... at I filled in for the month of July and the month of October. So my first sermon was on 4th of July. My final one was today on, on Halloween. And um, that is why my house looks like this. Oh boy. Um, so glad to have this project complete because like I've said many times, they are breaking ground tomorrow. The home renovation will commence. Um, Thank you all to um, those of you that have expressed interest in purchasing this book and a couple of you even donated so that I can give it freely to, um, to a couple other people. I do not want to make money off of this book. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is go to the bank, set up a separate checking account, just like I did for the free produce stand. Any money that came in to me, just, um, I kind of considered myself, um, I just was, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but, um, I just handled it and, and as it came in, I sent it right back out in um, whatever direction God led me. Um, for a long time with the free produce stand, I put it in an account and then was able to use that money to buy more produce each week. After I quit doing it that way, then um, when, when money came in, I just gave it to people along with food um, as I was spirit led. So. Tomorrow I'm going to open up a new checking account and your, any of you that have paid with PayPal or Venmo, um, I will move those funds right into that new account and that account will be there for me to be able to print um, more of these books just like, um, well just to be able to do what I did today and, and give them away. So thank you all so much. Um, I'm going to take some kids trick or treating and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. I love you. P.S. I will also have my decaf coffee with one cup of coconut milk sometime this evening. Hopefully. Now let me show you my little trick-or-treaters. Good night, you guys. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm going to make my potion. <laughs> what are you going to make your potion? What's your potion going to be for? to give kids candy. All right, let's go get some candy. Yeah.